Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Gloom Spike Kits Molog's Mob. Right here in this box. Uh, in the end, I had to get it from Games Workshop. I've also got an Arachnorok in here uh, hiding away. Borrowed it, borrowed deep inside this box. So um, let's rip and tear. and get these goodies. So yeah, as I expected, come in this white box. Games Workshop are a bit behind with their, you know, actual boxes that they're making. So it's just very quick and easy for them to bundle their minis in these white boxes, which uh, have either Citadel, Age of Sigma, or 40K in. It's probably one of the quickest ways they can do that instead of running around trying to find the right box for the right um, kit. Um, so this is the Arachnorok. There's no real reason for me to do an unboxing of this here because um, this is already on the channel somewhere. If you look under the Gloom Spike Kits playlist, it's there. And me unboxing it now would just be duplicating the, the content. Um, so this is Gloom Spike Kits Molog's Mob. One of these kits will set you back 15 pounds. I think it uh, includes some kind of nice trogoff with uh, mushrooms growing on, on its back and a couple of other little creatures. Um, so one sprue, I'm thinking, for the 15 pound. This is the uh, instruction guide. We'll have a look at this, first of all. That's what this uh, trogoth will look like. Um, it's uh, holding a, a frog, I think it is. Then you've got this squig bat, bat. you've got a, a rock um, with a face on, and then you've got this uh, mushroom spider type creature with a load of spores or smoke rising from it. And the trog itself has got this barnacle encrusted wooden melee weapon club thing. Um, so we'll go together, yeah, relatively easy. It's not pushed to fit but uh, it looks like it's easy to build push to fit as well because they've got the pegs and the sockets. Molog um, fits together quite well and so do the, uh, the bat and the rock. And that's pretty much it, look. Just these four, four uh, models uh, in here. Uh, there's the wall scroll for uh, Molog. Lots and lots of rules here. Puff Fungus Club. Jabber Toad, Magical Resistance, Regeneration, Spikes Room, Stalag Squig, um, Minion Abilities, all kinds of things going on. You know, the Jabber Toad is a 12 inch range. I don't know what he does with it, whether he throws it, who knows. Um, uh, Molog, the, the ancient Dankhold Trogoth, uh, really wants to find somewhere dark and damp to go back to sleep, but people keep disturbing him and getting in his way. Suffice to say, this never ends well for them. So all he wants to do is just go to sleep somewhere. I know the feeling. Um, and uh, yeah, so he's out and about um, clubbing people. But he is a dank hole trogoth. Uh, I don't think he's uh, like, you know, as big as the dank hole trogoth, I, I don't think. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to be building one of those in the live streams uh, at some point soon, if I haven't already. So here's the Jabba Toad that he's holding in his hand. It looks a bit disgusting. So it is a toad, not a frog. Apologies um, for you uh, frogs out there or for you toads out there. Um, this is the uh, club. Uh, this is the top caps of the mushrooms. I think they're awesome. Uh, this is the squig bat thing. Um, this is the little base. So you get these uh, pre-molded, pre-made bases. I do like these bases when they're for like characters. Uh, this looks an awesome base. This looks like a very interesting uh, sort of scenic base. You've got some skulls, you've got a little puddle or little pond there uh, with some mushrooms and a che treasure chest. Oh, that looks cool. Um, and you've got its, uh, his feet and you've got the mushroom creature with the weird face, um, with the evil looking face. And you've got the rock with the teeth and the mouth. Uh, you've got the body of uh, Molog and the, the face, that looks quite cool. With the uh, mushroom and the big, obviously, troll nose. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a fair bit of detail. This this kit, it says 2019, so I'm looking forward to building this one. Uh, it'll give my, my Trogoths, uh, you know, more company. So I've got, uh, I think, nine rock gut Trogoths now, three fell water, uh, the Trogoth hag, a dank old Trogoth, and now Molog. I'd like to get a Trog boss as well. Uh, just to round them all off and then I've got all the trolls possible unless Games Workshop and Forge World release some more. Um, but I think that's pretty much as, as large as you can get for, for the trolls. Who knows though, they may uh, bring out one in the future. 
So there you go, that's my unboxing and first look at uh, Molog's Mob uh, for the £15. I, I don't think it's too bad really um, for a, you know, a big troll with a number of other minis. Um, and uh, the rules seem pretty decent. Uh, what do you guys think of Molog though? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Loon King protects.